Saints Oil Stadium in 2008 here in the Circle City of Indianapolis, Indiana. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Pittsburgh Steelers. And here's a look at the starting offense. Downfield. And how about this wide receiving core, Charles? Well, I was in the hotel watching a little film, and you popped your head in and said, these receivers are pretty good. For but you have to be careful about being too cautious, because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. And here's a look at the defensive unit that hopes to halt this offense today. You mentioned the back-to-back 8-8 -back eight -eight seasons in the AFC South. That only puts them about one game out of the playoffs. So if they can make any type of improvement, they have a chance to get back into the playoffs where they were for the previous three seasons. And they'll go with the ground attack here. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 11 on the game there. And the Colts are going to have a first. Especially as a runner. And he's giving us no reason to change our minds. That's a big-time run. And the production... Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. A nice pick up there at 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Back to throw now on first down. He's going to loft it, deep right sideline. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A big play there. 15 script their opening possessions five plays and the result for the Colts is a touchdown excellent blocking but the guy carrying the ball he was the finisher a really nice run 100 yards 106 receptions now for him you know people were expecting here's a play fake as they set up to throw looking deep downfield trying for Brown and it's intercepted a great read and it's picked off and a big turnover there as his guys are going to try to get the ball to their playmaker in space. So what do they do? They crowd him and send bodies at him. And this one winds up being intercepted. That is a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for. Long run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have your guys up front. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 32. And five yards on the play there is a drive. It's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. They'll switch it up here and look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And now the rookie's free. Touchdown. I mean, boom, 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 and he finds his way to the end zone. Terrific play. Form throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stumbled across the 45 before he's brought down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him onto the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But you sort of the Bowl? <laughs> without a doubt, that's a game that you just figure you're going to be in. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. <laughs> They're dangerous wide receivers in depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker from worst to first. Looking to throw. He's got time. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. And they pick up a first down in that fullback position. But as you and I both know, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a fullback playing in that spot. You know, times have changed. Style where you actually have a true fullback who emulate it but aren't necessarily that position. 11 yards on the pickup, and that'll be good for an Indianapolis first. I don't want Dallas's. 
one of the highest rated players on my board, a three down back who can do everything. And one of the best parts of his game, definitions of a complete back. I think most people think a guy who can block, a guy who can catch, and a guy who can run. But how about when you put it all together as a runner and you can fake people out, you can be shifty, and also run with some power and break tackles, as we just saw on that pickup. Run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Eight yards, and it's second and two. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blowers guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure. They'll give it to him right up the gun. Whoosh. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. They'll get 16 yards there. And that'll be good for Pittsburgh first. He's quite an eyeful, isn't he? Big, strong, physical guy. When he came out of school and when I looked at season workouts, now he's putting his running ability to good use in the NFL. Oh, look at that. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. A great play there. A 12 yard. Now made this a one score game. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block keeps your assignments. Let him run it in. They get it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. End result, touchdown. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Gonna throw right side here, complete. There he goes, right side. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. A big play. Five-yard loss. That coach is already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a group? Well in hand, they had that, but they decided to go for it anyway. Now on first down, he'll drop the throw. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. They're a big tight end. Colts are going to jump back in front. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a small so doesn't it? It's final. Get back out on the field. Rush coming in. He's taken down. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. Boy, he came in. in time of possession right now. The Steelers, though, are still right in this game and will certainly be looking for a way to pull this one out in the second half. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Colts on offense early in the first. The long ball will find its mark here, and this will go as a touchdown. First and ten, the Colts is up now by seven. Coverage breaks down on a deep pass, and he'll go in for the touchdown. That puts them on top by 14. Steelers line up at the 8. The connection will be made from the gun. And it's caught for the touchdown, cutting the deficit to 7. Now first and 10, he'll move off the right side on the run. And he caps off the 8th play drop for the touchdown. Steelers now down by just 3. Steelers with the ball midway through the second. The pass and catch is made on the slant. And this play will go for 6. They're now on top by 4. The pass will be to a touchdown. Colts up by a field goal. So that's a wrap for us. We'll hit. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Man open left side is Brown. He won't go down. A really good pickup of 28 yards. A good grab there. From the shotgun, he looked to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. 18 yards there in the first down. It's a game of matchups and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches.
play fake. He'll look to throw. He's got time in the pocket. He's going to launch this thing. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And a big 32-yard play on offense. Another fun play to watch there on the deep pass. This game has the feel of what, a, a turkey bowl, a Thanksgiving day. You know, when we get together, they're not following that long game. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They give him 15 more, and it's another first down. Whenever we meet with coaches in the Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Give him nine on the play, and then he'll make it through. Him on this drive, moving the ball quite well. Big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. Looking to throw. This will be caught at about the five. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. Going to give this time to the tackle. And he takes it in for a cold score. A great effort there. Taking it in. For and they're able to run it in. It started with the battle of the trenches. They won there. And they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how we're going to slow down this room for them to roll. But even after the first missed tackle, in this case, tackle is missed. Plenty of open field to get after. That. Extra point away from tying this thing up. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that... They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. A big play there for Andy. 42 yards. For what position they get this, but run after the catch ability, rack ability, is often the difference between the, and changing field position. before they're inside the 25. Give them 11 on the game there. And it's good enough for an Indy draft. That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. The 6 yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. So many teams want to throw the best to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, that's almost a tendency break. They'll look to throw. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. They're big tight end. Beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. Colts have broken our tie as they take the lead. Dance background, ballet background, and they take that and carry it over to the It was a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. And time was able to survey the field and find a soft spot in that. They're going to look to throw. Throwing it in traffic there, and that's complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And passing yard is 
Here's a play fake as they and he will find his big tie over the middle. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A really nice gain. Of well, when you play defense and reading your keys, you always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. See what else the offense has up its sleeve. They'll set up to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Their dangerous wide receiver. Seven point lead now. In terms for third down, third and short, third and long, third and manageable. How about third and medium? Because that's what this one was. The defense looked like they had him hemmed in, but he gets away, evades the rush, and picks up just enough for the first down. The defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. Back-to-back -back sacks, starting with first and goal. I have to believe that they'll continue to bring the pressure on third. Clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to... So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Colts are...